All right, good morning, everybody. Had a little bit of technical difficulties earlier. Uh, I wasn't able to uh, screencast, so I'm just gonna do this as a quick video. Uh, so if you take a look here, uh, we have a map of Long Island, New York City, part of upstate New York. You'll notice we have a couple things. We have West 73 for longitude, West 74 for longitude. Both of those longitudinal lines, those red lines that run up and down, if you want to find a point that falls between the two of them, you have to understand that each degree, like from 73 to 74, is made up of 60 smaller subunits known as minutes. So in between 73 and 74, we have 60 minutes. Now, how does this help us? Well, let's say you wanted to find the location for the letter L in Long Island. Let's say you wanted to find this spot right here that I'm highlighting yellow. So what would you do? Well, if you know that this spot right here is West 73 and zero extra minutes, I'm just going to write a zero there, and you know that West 74 is the equivalent of West 73 and 60 minutes, because we know each degree is made up of 60 minutes, we can estimate the value of that middle point. And right between the two, what's in between 0 and 60? 30. And that's why we list it as 73 degrees, 30 minutes. Cool. So let's try and go up. To find the longitude of that point, we would just write down west 73 give it a degree symbol, and 30 minutes, give it a tick mark. Tick mark right, uh, signifies minutes. Now, let's say I want to find the latitude for that point. Well, I could find here that I have uh, north 40 and 30 minutes. Here I have north 41. Down here, that would be north 40. Remember, in between each degree, we have 60 minutes. That halfway point right there, halfway between 0 and 60, would be 30. But that's not where the L is. The L is halfway between 30 and the 60. So give me a number that falls between 30 and 60. If you said 45, you're right. So our answer for the north latitude would be north 40 and 45 minutes. Okay, next we're going to take a look at a uh, Google Earth view of uh, Brooklyn, New York City, parts of Long Island. So you can see here as I drag the map around, you can see that these numbers uh, that are on the map stay the same. Now I'm just going to go into the ocean here so the numbers are a little bit more clear. Okay, so let's grab a go with red. Um, so let's just find a random spot. Right here we have West 73 and 42 minutes. This spot right here is West 73 and 46 minutes. West 73 and 50 minutes. You'll notice that the numbering in this instance is going up by four minute increments. So we can estimate what that middle spot is. If that jumped from here to here, went up by four, this spot right here would only be going up by two. So can we get a guess as to what that is? That would be West 73 and 44 minutes. The spot right here would be West 73. And we know that since we're moving to the left, we're increasing in value. West 73 and not 46, not 50, but halfway in between would give us 48 minutes. All right, so let's clear this out. And let's try and take a look at Brooklyn, where we are. So cool thing about uh, Google Earth is you can see Canarsie Pier pretty good. That's Canarsie Pier. 
So you know that the school is pretty much like right here. Right, I just made that little little dot. Right there. So since that's where the school is, let's try and find what the value of that spot is. Well, I have some numbers. Here I'm looking at north 40, 38. Here I'm looking at north 42. This guy would be north 40 in how many minutes? 40. Because we're jumping up by 2 in this example. So if that's north 40, this one would be about 39. You know, that's close enough for us today. We'll call that 39. So our, I'm going to write it over here on the left. Our location would be north 40 degrees, 39 minutes. For, and that would be our latitude. For our longitude, we seem to be right on the west 43. 54 minute line. So this is the latitude and longitude of our school.